My name is Amy. I'm Mary Elizabeth is my daughter. She was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia back in 2013. She was um, about two or three weeks shy of being four. It, it was tough because she really didn't understand what was going on, but yet she knew just enough to be scared. I couldn't walk on my feet. I had pain so much. I had a crawl on my mom and my daddy had to take me to my bed. She said it hurt. It made me scared, and the last thing she said was, um, I thought I was gonna die. And I had never heard her say that to me through the whole process of us going through all the chemo and through the, um, the months where she couldn't hold her head up off the pillow. And that was the first time she'd ever said that to me, and it hit me like a ton of bricks. She has taught me how to be strong um, because there were times that I didn't know how I was going to make it to the next day. But watching her and the way that she handled herself taught me how to be a better person too. You know, she was always upbeat and positive and wanted to play. Even when she felt her worst, she wanted to, to play and she wanted to dance. I like to dance. As I went to the doctor more, I could dance. And one time I just got up and started dancing. I didn't have pain anymore. As far as the Children's Miracle Network, if it wasn't really for them, then I don't know that we could have been where we are today. So, um, yeah, <laughs> we love we love children. Sometimes other people don't understand what the families are going through, and so it kind of gives somebody um, a chance to, to be able to talk about what they've gone through and to help other people understand how important it is for the fundraising efforts that you guys do. Um, so yeah, we've, we've enjoyed having people to, to lean on and to be able to talk to and, and have fun with. <laughs> we dance till our feet hurt. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm usually sitting on the side letting her do all the dancing, <laughs> but she loves it and she loves the attention, you know, so it's, she's all about being the spotlight. So yeah, and, and that's the way um, all the students make her feel. They make her feel very special when she's there. I like it. I like that you have fun and that you have fun When she woke up with a fever that morning, you know, we assumed she had the flu. And, and then we were sent here and they checked her and said, no, she, I'm sorry, she has cancer. And um, honestly, I didn't, I didn't know what was going to happen. I pretty much thought our life was over, but um, it's not true. Something like cancer can either make you or break you. Um, it can tear your family apart or it can make you a lot stronger. And I think in our case, it made us a lot stronger. Beautiful, give me a high five. You're awesome, kiddo.